what is this supposed to be? $6.99 or $7.99. So great, great price point on both of them. Great price point. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got another new at the drugstore video for y'all today. There is just so much new drugstore stuff coming out that I'm doing this in multiple videos and I am loving it. I'm loving doing these videos for y'all. So if you love drugstore makeup, you are in the right place because I already have a couple videos up on my channel with new things from the drugstore. I have this one today and then I'm gonna have more coming. I'm gonna do a dedicated one to Wet n Wild stuff that's new and then a dedicated video to Maybelline stuff that's new just because I have a lot of stuff to go over from those two brands specifically. So be sure that you're subscribed if you love drugstore makeup because we talk about it a lot here. So yeah, we've got some things to talk about from L'Oreal, Rimmel, and then one thing from Revlon. So let's get to it. So let's just go ahead and get this one out of the way. This is the Revlon Insta Blush, and this is in the shade 300 Rose Gold Kiss. I was so sad about this. This really just doesn't show up like at all. <laughs> it's right there. It does have a creamy texture. It wasn't super hard to blend, but I blended it and I couldn't see it. <laughs> it was like, it doesn't have a lot of pigmentation full on to begin with. Like this is really building up here. It just doesn't have a lot of pigmentation to begin with. And then the, like when you blend it even just a little bit, it's like it just goes nowhere. So I think that this is the lightest one of these. Um, so maybe the darker ones would be better. Maybe it's just that I picked such a light color, but I'm really not impressed with this. Revlon does have um, some new blushes, I believe, that are like reformulated. I didn't get any of those to try just because I got this first and I was so disappointed by it. Um, and then I think those are around $12. I just really wasn't wanting to spend the money on those. So you have to let me know what you think about the new powder blushes, but these I'm not too impressed with. And then some goodies from L'Oreal. First is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation. It says 24 hour foundation, full coverage, weightless feel. And I got it in 302 Creamy Natural. Now let me know if you wanna see like a full video on this where I actually do like a demo and show you what it looks like as I apply it, how I apply it so you can kind of see that. So let me know, I can definitely do that. But I'm gonna share my general thoughts with you now. So it's supposed to have a natural finish. It's supposed to wear up to 24 hours. It's supposed to be high coverage and it's supposed to be air light. So I've tried this multiple times and overall I'm still on the fence about it. But overall, I definitely do not like it as much as the Pro Matte. I like that one a lot better. I haven't tried the Pro Glow because I'm more combo oily. Combo oily normal, somewhere in there. Haven't tried that one, but I like the, the Pro Matte much better than this one. And what I found is that a brush really does not work with this for me. It really just seemed to still just kind of sit on top of my skin and kind of like cling to dry patches, especially on my nose. Like even now it looks separating on my nose and kind of like a little bit flaky on my forehead. And I'm not even that, that dry. I'm more, like I already said, normal combo oily. Um, so if you're dry, I don't know that this would work for you at all. But what seems to help is the beauty blender. I'm not usually a beauty blender user. I don't really use that a ton, but with this foundation, it seems to help a lot. It really kind of like gets it into the skin and kind of helps it like just meld with the skin and just look more natural versus kind of like sitting on the top and looking a little bit dry. You know what I mean? So still kind of like forming complete thoughts about this, but overall, I think it's just kind of okay for me personally. Next is one of the L'Oreal Infallible Paints eyeshadows and this is in 316 Cool Ivory. So it's kind of like a double-ended sort of a liquid shadow product. Both sides are liquid shadows. So it's not like one is a liquid shadow and one is um, a powder. They're both liquid and it's a doe foot applicator, but it's like a really fuzzy, soft sort of a doe foot applicator. So that is what that looks like. And this one is really pretty. I like the color I picked because I love a, like a light lid. I do have this on today. I have this one on today um, with something else over it, but it does make a really nice base. So this side is kind of like a champagne golden ivory sort of a color. And this one is like a icy white. 
So this one is definitely more opaque than the white one. The white one is a little bit more on the sheer side. I do find that these build on themselves nicely, which I was happy to see. Um, what I do with it is I have been using like a concealer brush that's got a really flat end to it to kind of like get the general shape on my eyes. And then I'll use my finger to kind of like dab it on so I get the color intensity to it because they are very liquidy. I think formula wise, these are nice. They're not my favorite liquid shadows. I don't think, I think I probably like the Jordana ones a little bit better, but the Jordana ones have shimmer in them. And I know a lot of people don't like those because they have a lot of shimmer in them. I like them, but if you don't like shimmer, then you may like these more. Now I don't know about the other colors if they have shimmer, but this particular duo that I picked in Cool Ivory doesn't seem to have any kind of like a shimmer to it. And I found that it wears well. I haven't worn these by themselves. I don't really ever wear liquid shadow by itself. So I've just used it as a base, but I do think it works really nicely in that way. I am actually really enjoying this. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Paints Blush Palette. And this says it's in 230. So I don't know if there's gonna be more colors in this, but this was the only shade that I saw. I found this at Walgreens. So it does come with a little brush that's like, what is this supposed to be? <laughs> Like it really doesn't work very well. It's very flat, so yeah, no. So, but I mean, it's in there. I would have loved another blush though. So these are the blushes that are included here. Now this is very bright. So if I have a negative to say about it, it would be that it's so bright. I would love if they had like a more neutral one, a neutral palette and then a more bright palette or I don't know. I mean, I guess these two are a little bit more on the neutral side, but these are pretty bright. But overall, it just feels bright to me. But I've worn this multiple times. I really like this palette a lot. I like the formula of these blushes. Like, they blend really, really well into the skin. They build on themselves. They wear really well throughout the day. I like them. I think that they're really, really nice. Now, looking at these swatches, I think they're one of those things that they're not going to look that impressive in a swatch, but I'm telling you, I've worn them multiple times, multiple, multiple times in every color, and I really, really like it. I almost didn't buy this because I think it was either $16.99 or $17.99. That is high. So it was expensive for the drugstore, in my opinion, but I really, really like it. A lot. This is probably one of my favorite new products in the drugstore. I'm liking it that much. And the last thing I had to go over with y'all in this video at least are these Rimmel palettes. I was really excited about these when I started hearing about them because I love eyeshadow palettes. Eyeshadow is like one of my favorite makeup items. So I always get excited about new palettes in the drugstore to try. And I really like Rimmel. I feel like they make really nice makeup. So they have some new palettes, so pretty. So there are three different ones. This first one is Keep Calm and Wear Gold. This is a really nice neutral. I do have this on my eyes today, but I have some other things mixed in with it, but I do have this on, so you can kind of see what it looks like, at least, you know, a general idea. This next one is 002 London Nudes Calling. So let me, this one right here is London Nudes Calling. So you can kind of like compare them there. So this one has a little bit more like pinky, warm toned neutrals. And then this last one is 003 Grunge Glamour. So this one is kind of more of your like smoky dramatic one. So let me show you some swatches of these. So first off is 001 Keep Calm and Wear Gold. This one swatches really, really nicely. It's beautiful. Now something to note about this particular one, and I actually did some comparison swatches on my Instagram if you wanna see like up close comparison swatches between this palette and this Demi, um, what is this? NYC New York Color Lovotics by Demi. These are pretty much the exact same palette. I mean, they're, they're pretty much dead on. Um, the only thing that I kind of noticed when I was comparing them is the Lovotics palette is maybe a little bit different in texture that it sort of like built up a little bit more, the color did, but it was so minute, the difference. So, I mean, either, I love them both. I think they're both great quality. The price point is, I think, pretty much the exact same. I think they're both around $6.99 or $7.99. So, grace, grace price point on both of them. Grace price point. No, grace, I said it again, great 
price point on both of them. So that's not really a factor to take into consideration. It's really just whatever maybe, you know, is easier for you to find or get your hands on. So those are super similar, but you know, this Rimmel palette is very nice. It swatches really nicely. This one is probably my favorite of the three. This is 002 London Nudes Calling. So it's got those kind of like pinky, burgundy, taupey sort of colors in there. It's really, really pretty. These all swatch really nicely. So I love this one too. So it's really just kind of a preference of which colors do you like better, but they both um, swatch really nicely. So very nice quality on this one too. And then lastly is 003 Grunge Glamour. This is my least favorite of the three. It's not that it's a bad palette, but just the color selection. Um, I don't really wear gray smoky eyes as much as I used to. So I won't get as much use out of this palette, but if you like smoky eyes, especially gray smoky eyes, I think you'd love this palette because there's a lot of gray happening in here. Now this one doesn't swatch very well, but the rest of them, you know, have nice quality to them and swatch nicely and have, you know, good pigmentation to them. So something to note about these shadows, they definitely are powdery. They have kick up, they have fallout, um, but that's not a game changer for me. If a shadow is pigmented and it blends well and wears well, you know, I can deal with the fallout and the powderiness. So that's kind of the situation with these. I think that they are pigmented. They're easy to blend. They're easy to work with, especially the mattes. I really like the mattes. I wish there were maybe a few more mattes in these palettes, um, but I like them. I think they functionally work well. You just might have to do a little bit of extra cleanup after you use them. And I love the price point. Surprise, different day, different outfit, but I completely forgot that I'd ordered a few more things. So when they showed up in the mail, I was like, Oh yeah, I was gonna include those in that video. So I'm including them in the video. I just look a little different. <laughs> so first off is the CoverGirl True Naked Jewels palette. So this is kind of like their colorful version of their True Naked palettes. So they have the other three that are very neutral and then they have this one that's very jewel toned as the name Jewels suggests. So it's got like a fun collection of colors. It only has one matte, it's got this kind of like pinky sort of a matte color here. I do have this on my eyes so you can kind of see what it looks like. I did put a little bit of my bronzer in my crease because that's one thing I would change about this palette. Um, I wish they would have like either included one more matte or maybe chosen a different shade other than this light pinky shade. It's really pretty, but I mean, I'm pretty fair and it barely shows up on me. So I don't know how versatile this is gonna be for a lot of different skin tones. So I would love if they maybe switch that out. Um, and I'm not sure about this green one. It doesn't have a lot of pigment to it. It just has a lot of shimmer, but it did build up. And I think if I use it with Mac Fix Plus or some kind of a mixing medium, I think that'll really help it. But pretty palette. I mean, some really pretty shades in here, really pretty jewel tones. I like it. It is powdery, um, same sort of texture as the other True Naked palettes. So if you kind of know how those work, these seem exactly the same, just different shades. So gonna have a little bit of fallout, you know, might have to do a little bit of cleanup, but, and I would use a primer because that helps with like the powderiness. It really gives it something to adhere to, like a sticky base to primer and a sticky base. But with those things, I think it totally is workable. I think it's a really pretty fun palette. NYX has quite a few new products out right now, but the ones that intrigued me the most were their duochromatic illuminating powders. I just picked up two. I think they have five or six different shades, but I went with the ones that were kind of more pinky lavender because those were the ones that like sucked me in the most and intrigued me the most. And oh my goodness, I love these. I think they are amazing. So pretty. I'm loving them. So the first one I got is 02 Lavender Steel. This is what I have on my cheekbones right now. I can't stop with this highlighter. Like I want to wear this all day, every day because it's so pretty. And I feel like this is what I've been looking for for a while because when I bought the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild palette, I was really wanting something like this, but it just, it's this one on the bottom that I'm showing you. It's not that one, it's this one. Um, None of those translated on my skin like this does. This is like a very, it's a pink, but with a strong lavender sort of a tone to it, but it's still workable. So it's not too out there where I feel like I, you know, I feel like I feel comfortable wearing this most everywhere because it's still blushy enough. Like it still blends with the blush enough 
to just kind of go, but it's still super creative and fun. I love it. Really nice texture, blends into the skin really well. I did notice it fading by the end of the day, but it had been a really long day. And I've been sweating, I've been outside, because Texas weather is crazy. Some days it's hot, some days it's cold, even when it's winter time. <laughs> so I've been sweating, so it did sort of fade, but I'm talking like probably 11 hours after wearing it. So I would expect it to fade at that point. So I think it has really nice wear and really nice texture to it. This other one is 04 Snow Rose. My mascara is running, trying out mascara and it's running. No, no, no. Okay, 04 Snow Rose. This one is more kind of like champagne-y with a pinky peach sort of a duochrome to it. Love this one too. I really, really like both of these. But if I had to choose, Lavender Steel is like my favorite of the two. But I'm really glad I got Snow Rose too. They're just so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love duochrome highlighters. I'm all about them right now. Essence has quite a few new products as well, but I just picked up one thing. This is the Matte Matte Lipstick, and there's a lot of matte happening on the bottom here. It says Matte Matte, and this is in Matte 01. <laughs> matte Matte Matte. So lots of matte happening there, but I really like the packaging on this. It's kind of like a frosty sort of a look to it. Really nice, especially for the price. I think they do a good job of like making pretty packaging. Um, while still keeping the price really low. I think this was $3.99, which is awesome. So matte 01, now it's just, you know, a traditional sort of lipstick. It's a matte lipstick. I was expecting this to be a little bit different. Um, I was expecting more of a nude. This is kind of a peachier color. I do like it, but um, I probably would have chosen a different color because I don't really wear super peachy colors very often. I wear nudes more often, which is what I thought I was getting. Um, so not quite the color I was expecting, but I do like the formula on this. It's just a nice matte lipstick. This one does show a little bit of dryness on my lips, but I think that has more to do with the color, um, more so than the formula. So it does feel nice on the lips. It really honestly just kind of feels like nothing on the lips. Like it doesn't feel necessarily hydrating, but it doesn't feel dry either. It's just kind of like right in between. So I'm all about a matte lipstick. I'm all about an affordable matte lipstick. So I'm excited to have another option in the drugstore. All right guys, so those are all the goodies that I have to show you in this video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you think about any of these products or any other new goodies that you found at the drugstore. I would love to know your thoughts and opinions. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.